You. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You do understand that it is very difficult to find a solution to a problem that you do not fully understand. See, as athletes, and even as people, we have to understand what we're up against. We have to understand who we're up against. You have to be able to identify your true competition. So many athletes have no problem telling you that they are competitive, that they hate losing. But when they make this reference, they're only speaking about losing to others. How many of us have a problem losing to ourselves? How many of us have problems letting ourselves off the hook? Understand that there is a difference between I can't and I won't. We too often confuse the two. See, I know that everybody wants to be successful. And what you've been told your whole life is, is that success is hard. But that's untrue. Success is easy if you're willing to do hard work. Success is easy if you're willing to eliminate I can't from your vocabulary. See, the difference between or the distance between who you are and who you want to be is discipline and hard work. What's going to separate you from everybody else who wants the same things that you want is not going to be talent. It's going to be the things that you are willing to do that they are not willing to do. It's going to be how far you're willing to go when they're not willing to go that far. It is staying up late when they go to bed early. It is getting up early when they want to sleep in. There can be no limit on the amount of work that you are willing to put in. See, it's not that the work is too much is that you haven't been honest with yourself and accepted the fact that you want it too little. Because if you want it the way that you say that you want it, the work will be irrelevant. The sweat will just be a part of the uniform. The soreness, the bruising, the fatigue, the tired, all of that will just be a part of your everyday uniform. So my advice is simple. Stop losing to you. Stop telling people that you want to be successful. Start showing them. Let your goals be your God because the world is waiting on you, but it won't wait forever.